So in the following example, we're going to use the given information to calculate the amount of energy consumed as well as the power output of a certain exercise. So, let's begin. <coughs> a 74 kilogram man runs up a flight of stairs in 4.5 seconds. The flight of stairs has a vertical velocity of 5.0 meters. We want to find the amount of energy that the man consumed as well as how much power was used in a period of 4.5 seconds. So let's begin by looking at the following diagram. So our man begins at the initial position of height equals zero and that means our initial gravitational potential of our uh, person is zero because the H is zero so MGH is zero. Now our person then runs up the stairs in 4.5 seconds and the vertical height is 5.0 meters. Now we want to find what the final gravitational potential of our person is. This will give us how much energy was used up by the man to run up all the stairs. Remember that energy is conserved. That, mean, that means energy must go into somewhere and, and we're going to estimate or approximate that all the energy goes in into the gravitational potential energy and none goes in into thermal energy. So let's simply find our MGH. So MGH is equal to 74 kilograms, the mass of the man, times our gravitational field, 9.81 meters per second second, multiplied by our vertical distance, 5.0 meters. In other words, this is the amount of energy that was used up by our man. Now, to find the power output, we simply use our formula for power, which states that the change in energy equal or divide change in energy divided by change in time equals our power. So, in our case, our final energy is this, our initial energy is zero. So, this minus zero is simply 3630 joules. Now, the time amount of time elapsed is 4.5 seconds minus zero, which is simply 4.5 seconds. So, we divide the two, we get approximately 806 watts, which are simply joules per second. So, this is the power output of our man.